people and welcome back to another video now i i did say that i was in the last one uh after the last game but i thought this is the, this is the um, game uh before the well before we're exactly halfway through the season and and because of that, I want to just, I'll probably do a couple of Roberts, Taylor Roberts, the 16 year old, only 75 rated, William Parker. Now well, that's two players instantly up into the academy. But, so, that might actually link better um, uh, with a big, with some big competition. Wait, do these two players have the same? Well, they have very similar haircut, but this is going to leave better with quite a bit of competition. Nick, 69 pay 65 shooting, 81 passing. That's why I converted him to a centre mid. His uh, best uh, thing is his passing. Yeah, he's not going to be able to play CDM, so I have to, so I have to like change the formation up a bit to have him fit in. But this man, Taylor Roberts. He might honestly be the next big thing. Look, I think by the time Almiron uh, has recovered from his injury, Taylor Roberts will actually be higher rated. Somehow his pace has still gone up, even though of his ACL. Lascelles, like, even though Lascelles, they're both, like, happy. I guess they're just, like, happy pretty much being able to have time off really um so yeah this is a very <laughs> one thing that i put in, in fifa is their rating doesn't actually show you their stats because i'm pretty sure when uh fifa are like well ea are like hmm i think Aaron's deserves a 74. I don't think that, like, all this does an average 74. It's just like, oh, I think he deserves that. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how it does. But Willock, uh, he is actually gonna again challenge. For, wait, he actually uh, he plays as good. Um, so I'll play this next game and I'll come back after we've only lost three games this season actually which is pretty good but i'll come back after hi guys um i've just beaten everton 3-0 carlo ancelotti is not doing as well as he did in real life a great win for us that should get us up but taylor roberts gets his debut who was subbed on so first off Callum Wilson got his first goal. That was a good goal. Then Taylor Roberts. Like I've used him just for this game. And honestly, I've never played with a player who can pass the ball like he can. Like he just passed it nicely. Have, that so he definitely deserves that. Um uh 81 passing he deserves better because i feel like it's probably his short passing because like his passes are amazing especially uh short ones so you can just like get little passes into the striker and the striker can do the magic uh taylor roberts uh, had a real impact on the game uh will you promote more young players take uh we'll take our time with the, mm, we're plenty of we'll give it well it gives me something to think about taylor roberts that makes him happier ah uh, 
it, mm, we got a plan B, and that is actually Taylor Roberts, capped a good team display. Callum Wilson is so happy, like really happy, like if you, I think his happy is actually Max, oh no no, please don't be out long, please, now I have to move him uh, forward, so, <laughs> okay, this season I've had really bad luck with injuries, two, um, two ACLs and I really hope it's not an um, ACL for Brahmin, well, that will be my third ACL of the season, and that is not nice, damn it, oh, no, I'm trying to check my, I forgot, you absolute ah uh, <laughs> oh, <no>. okay oh. <laughs> four weeks Aaron suffered a four week and a four weeker and he went down by one in only I think he went down in one by the first week and Brahmin, mm, he's only 25 as well, I hate these like injuries with players that are only like, uh, uh, okay, Lascelles in four months, Almiron will come back like pretty much February, mid-February, but those, that one game he played, that has really halted his career. I'm probably gonna actually add him just to the to the loan list so he can get some time somewhere else. But yeah, I knew number seven is Taylor Roberts, and he deserves it after that game. And then Lascelles, he's still got four months. Uh, We've still got four months to wait to see what's happened with him. And if then he gets a second L ACL, that could be horrible. Okay, set recovery. That puts us up into eighth. Okay, we... We need to... Chelsea have a difficult game. Chelsea are facing West Ham. I feel like West Brom are definitely relegated and there's a Wolves fan I'm secretly happy about that. But, <laughs> uh, but with 43 points, this is the halfway mark. Everyone's played 19 games. So... And first is City, Liverpool, Spurs, United, Arsenal, Wolves, Chelsea, Newcastle, Everton, West Ham, Fulham, uh, Aston Villa, Sheffield United, Burnley, Leeds, Crystal Palace, Southampton, Leicester, Brighton and West Brom. Wait, I'm pretty sure that right now I can imagine that uh, Grant would be one of because I remember he was uh, he was in last place with I think five goals no six goals in like eight games I think it was but currently the top goal scorer um he's currently on track to beat the record for most goals in a Premier League season and may I think he might actually be on track to beat most goals ever and then next. Oops, and then next it's Rashford, then Aguero, mm, then Pulisic, Mane, Sterling, Kane, Rodriguez, Cavani, and then King. Hasn't scored a goal in, like, months. Besser, he's doing better than I thought he was assists. Why is doing seven assists? I didn't know he was getting in that many assists. I can imagine that, okay, then... Where where's Darlow? Yeah, you can tell because like on on the bottom it's mainly backup goalies like Hennessy, uh, Darlow, 
um, like, for, for a bit, Darlow was on really good form, so he was my main goalie, so, <laughs> Alan with the most, how does Grealish get that many, he's an attacker, I can imagine that, yep, Lascelles is there, and uh, how is Lascelles in ninth for most yellow cards, and he's been out, uh, for, uh, three months, that just proves how Brutal Lascelles is, and then actually none of my players so far have actually got a red, which is pretty nice. So that's every. Now I'll think. Now we're exactly. I'll probably uh, sim these two games. I I'm not. I don't care hugely i just want to get to the first of january because that's when the transfer window opens so i'll see you at the first of january Fine finally we've got to the first of january okay now two players depart uh, Federico Fernandez uh, has confirmed his move to Real Betis and Dwight Gale has confirmed his move to Leicester. Villarreal won't dumb it. He's a great backup, so no, but he is actually not happy. Oh, and he is transfer listed for some reason. Oh, yep, he submitted a move away. Now, which one of these players would I want in the squad? If Wilson gets a knock or something like that, I want a backup striker. Now, the, the reason I've got Joshua King uh, in here is because he's on really good format. <laughs> yep, uh, can't get him. But, Andre Ayew? Actually, Jordan Ayew's brother, um, and Slimani. I feel like Slimani, uh, might be the better one. I just want, an, uh, someone decent, then he seems like that. So, because one of my aims is to buy a Veriton player. But what other players is there that I actually want? Wait, I'm just going to try and give myself a realistic amount uh, to spend uh, in this. Uh, I'll probably do like 85, 15. So that gives us 11 million to spend. And I could get that to about um, 11.5 million to spend. Healthy amount. So, actually, do I want to sign Amadou Traore? Because he's young. He's actually loan listed, but he's young. He's good striker. <laughs> okay, Bellingham. Could I bring him back to link up with the Longstaff brothers? I I, I do want to. So I do want to make a January signing. Now, obviously, I need to make uh, the Veriton signing, but another one? I feel like he's done more than enough to deserve... What? what? Why can't I... Why can I accept it for better? What? Makes no sense, I can only terminate his loan. 3.45, I'm happy with that. He's been playing like... Kaka recently. Just g grabbing assists everywhere and getting a good goal occasionally. Oh, what? I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna buy him next season anyway, no matter what, but 
I was I wanted to buy him now. I was quite happy with that deal honestly. Quite a few sales. I why why can't I he's on he's actually on like good form as you can see. But like we've done a lot of sales. I feel like our sale to buy ratio <laughs> is pretty good. Imagine if that was actually a thing. Wow, our sale to buy ratio is quite high. <laughs> but uh, so we sold one, two, three, four, five players, and we bought one, two, three, four. So actually, if I sign one more player, I'll have bought um, and K. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm gonna. I either want a backup uh, centre back, which I don't really need because I'm fine there. I think Slimani is going to be the player that I'm going to get who's experienced. Now, who else is there that would actually be a good idea to get? Now, I want to go into the promising tab thing because you can actually find some uh, players that are already decently rated. But I know Ryan Cherky, um is 71 rated. I might have grown already. Eddie Nakaita, he might actually be a good backup to. Uh, oops. Actually, no, no, he's way too expensive. Rest. Ryan Nyambe. Uh, Tulunga. <laughs> I feel like um, I think Eddie Nakaita or João Pedro might actually uh, be good players for us. Wait, because I've already scouted him. Wait, isn't that like a feature where if you've scouted them for a bit, you can see mm, their stuff? Now, I'm just going to uh, sim ahead, and if there is a game that I want to play in that time, I will play. No, I don't want to play. I don't actually want to play any games in January. So I'll just sim ahead to when the scout reports come back. So uh, I've actually scouted them so I know their value. So I can just stop scouting them now because what what I find quicker is actually if you want to uh, get the players that you're scouting done quicker so you can see, uh, just scout them for a couple of days till it's mostly done and then only their uh, overall will not, and some stats uh -huh. okay no no but only some of their stats will be missing and that's what I've done it's dark in <laughs> but so now I don't know their overall rules but so the player that looks because mm, I'm, I'm looking for a backup striker and if I could get João Pedro and I could get probably MacArthur so oh because to crack um might be affordable if I so I think I'll get João Pedro and either give him sporadic or rotation. Oh god, the loudness. But actually, do what would want like Andy Carroll plus uh, his base value. They don't know that Almiron's badly injured. But still, I do want to keep Almiron, so... I can offer them... 6 million. I would say 6 million is fair for a player like João Pedro. And if I can get that to a 9% selling clause, it's a deal. Done deal. 
So, Jao Pedro, hopefully, in the club. Yeah, I know that he's like only got like a 73 because he'll probably have grown a bit. He's happy with sporadic. I'm happy with that. Good boy, good boy. Ivy is at the club. He's happy with that. He's happy with no release calls. I'm happy with that. And if I can remove that appearance bonus, it's a done deal. There. Val Pedro in. What's his rating? Yes, 72. That's a good rating. I'll probably have enough here. Or plaque. Or MacArthur. MacArthur's the cheaper one, but to Prack has less wages. And Dummett has submitted a transfer request, so I'll be happy if we can swap him for Dummett and it will be considered as a Veriton. A Veriton. <laughs> I know. Well done it. There. To prac for... If we only need to pay... 500k? Ah. Uh, why don't we go in the middle with... A mil. A mil on the dot plus... Okay, that's 9 million in total. So I'm glad that I was able to get Dummett going the other way. So this will be Jean Pedro in as a new backup striker for Wilson, just in case he gets a knock. And uh, Toprak in. Um, Dummett, who's not very happy. Now, and this will also be considered a Veriton player, which... Ooh, I'll give you rotation, mate. Oh, he really wants that important. I'll see, I'll see, but... Two, I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with three, honestly. Yep, he's happy with two, so... Uh, disregard release clause. Does he want... Slight cut in his wages? Mmm, yeah, done deal. So, now the board should be happy with, I think, yep, a 90. Uh, so look, it says, so, now it, my uh, manager rating has gone up to 90, only because I signed a Veriton player. Wait, brand exposure is kind of, oh, because they've got more, uh, what's it called, reputation, so they're happier with signing a bigger player. So that leaves me with a new backup that I can put into actually all of my teams, but on the bench from my main team, of course. So, yep. Uh, to to prac uh, is just automatically on the bench. Um, then João Pedro will be on the bench. Now he'll be happy because I'll be subbing him on quite a bit. And I, what are his stats actually? If his pace is good, I'm happy because then he mm, 80 pace, uh, 69 shooting, 61 passing, or 23 defend defending. <laughs> Okay, now I can put him in my uh, second team. So I can put João Pedro in, and I can put uh, Toprak in. So now, yeah, he's actually higher rated than the cells. So when the cells does come back, he might be sad that he's lost his position. Where's the, uh, oops, that he's lost his position as the main, the, uh, 
a uh, centre backup centre back. So João Pedro. Now I hope that's a good signing for the future. Now bye guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. And bye.